Andy Coulson, the Prime Minister's former communications chief, has started to give evidence at the Leveson inquiry into press ethics, which today turns its focus on the relationship between politicians and the media. The former News of the World editor resigned from his Downing Street role in January 2011, amid a row about phone hacking by a News of the World journalist. He began by denying rumours that he had kept a diary of his time in the job. On the rumours that he had kept a diary, he said there were notes that I would take in the course of my work, both in opposition and in government. Mr Coulson resigned as editor of the News of the World in 2007 after its royal reporter Clive Goodman was jailed for illegally accessing the voicemail of three Buckingham Palace officials. But the Press Complaints Commission found no evidence that Coulson knew of Goodman's activities. Mr Coulson said he had thoroughly enjoyed working with Rupert Murdoch, describing him as warm and supportive, adding that he did not want to overplay their relationship. The same month, Mr Coulson became Mr Cameron's Director of Communications, but he quit the job amid the phone hacking scandal investigation. He was also questioned that he still received resignation payments when working for the Conservatives. The case continues. Rebecca Brooks is due to give evidence tomorrow. I am Anne Salter. Thanks for watching. For the very latest news on the Leveson Inquiry and other stories, go to our website on ibtimes.co.uk.